stop making boring slides like this one and try something like this instead. In this video, you'll discover the steps to create stunning slides like this one for free in Canva. The steps are quite easy to follow. Let me show you. We're going to start by going to canva.com and create our presentation document. From here, you will see this icon that says presentation and you simply need to click here. So Canva creates a new document and will take you to the editor. Now, the first step is to create the design or the layout of your slide holding the different steps you want to show. In my case, I want to show only three different steps, so I'm going to add them here to the design. I already have the colors and the fonts that I want to use in mind, so if you want to use the same, you can use the ones that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to start by changing the color in the background. So I'm having the background selected, I'm going to background color. Then by pressing on this plus icon, I will have access to the hex codes. I'm going to delete this one and insert the one that I want to have on my background. The next step is to add the text boxes to add your text. So I'm going to press the key T to add a title. So I'm going to position this text box somewhere here, making sure that it's aligned to the left. And I'm going to change the color of this text box. So you can either click on the plus icon or you can also paste your hex code in this search bar and then select the color from here. You can close this window and I'm going to change this font. I'm going to use this font right here, Hammersmith 1. And now I'm ready to change the text inside. So I'm going to type here steps. And finally, I'm going to increase the size of this text box. And I'm going to continue adding more text boxes so I can hold the information on these three different steps. I'm doing the design manually because I have something very clear in mind of what I want to create but if you want to have a completely different design you can go to design go to templates and browse the library in here you can go for a different design but I would like you to select a layout that allows you to move this highlighting square along the screen so here's an example of a template that I found that you could use you could use something like this in which you have two buttons of information so you can move the square or the highlighting square from this part of the screen to this one same here or you can also use something like this this is pretty similar to the one that I'm creating so you can move your square from this side to this one and this one okay so this is an example in just one template but of course you have plenty of options in here you just need to browse each template and see if there is one layout that works for you okay let me close this window i'm going to focus on my designing here so i'm going to continue adding text boxes I'm going to press t making sure that the alignment is to the left and for the subtitle text boxes i'm going to use another font so let me go to fonts and i'm going to use lexent giga let me reduce the size of this text box and i'm going to type type 01 as this is step number one duplicating this text box and reducing the size and change the text And finally, I need to add a body text text box. So again, pressing T, changing the alignment, changing the font. In this case, for the body text, I'm going to use this font, Roboto. Reducing the size of the text box before I insert my text. And now I can insert text and now before i create the following steps so step two and three i want to activate the margins so i can align these elements better i think this is looking good i'm going to position this text box here and these three text boxes a little bit lower something like this i'm going to select all of the text boxes and make sure that in position they are aligned to the left 
Perfect. Once your elements are aligned, we can increase the size of these two text boxes, something like this. You are going to select them. You can group them if you want. I actually suggest you do it because this is going to improve your experience later on when we are going to create the animation. So you have these elements grouped and then duplicate them. And then move this text box to the center of the page until you see this magenta that guide appearing that is letting you know that these elements are right at the center of the page which is exactly what we need you're going to release your mouse and then you can edit the text on these text boxes and then you can follow exactly the same steps for the third step you're going to select the group of elements and duplicate them and then you're going to move these elements or this group of elements to the right and you will make sure that these magenta guides appear and that this number also appears in between the three groups of elements. This is actually letting you know that you have exactly the same amount of pixels or same space in between each group. So this is perfect and I'm going to change the text in these text boxes and before we continue I just want to double check making sure that these elements are aligned, they are tidy. So I'm selecting the three groups of elements and then go to position and in here you will see that there is an option called tidy up you can click on this button just to make sure that these elements are tidy and that's it. Once you have the layout ready and everything is aligned, we are going to highlight the last step on this slide. So this is pretty simple. We are just going to add a square shape. I'm going to press the R key to create a square shape and I'm going to position this shape behind the text of my third step something like this more or less and what we are going to do is to select these three text boxes of this group and change the color of the text to the same color that we have in the background so it will be this dark color or in your case any color that you have selected in the back the next step is to close this window select the shape behind our text and change this color from here so i'm going to click on color and change the color of the box for the same color in this other text box so in this case it is this yellow or light green that we have in here and I think we are ready. Just let me remove these guides for a moment so I can see if this box looks good. And I believe this one looks fine. Now we are going to create the other slides on this presentation so we are able to create this morph effect or this lighting effect of this highlighting box. So now that we have this page ready we are going to duplicate it and then position yourself on page one. Now you're going to move this square to the right and make sure that this square is behind this text box. So go to position, layers, and this is correct. We have the box below all of these text boxes. The next step will be to select this group of elements and then go to copy style. You're going to paste this style on these text boxes here. Next step would be to duplicate page one and then go again to page number one and make sure that when you move this square to the left you are pressing shift just to make sure that you are not moving this square up or down and then you're going to select these text boxes copy style and paste them on step one you should have something like this you should see the first step highlighted then second one highlighted and third one highlighted if you have more steps you should have each step highlighted in a different page and now we are going to create the cover and the last page on this presentation for this we are going to duplicate page one and then go to page one one more time you're going to delete this group of elements here we don't need them anymore we just need this title and this shape so you're going to select this shape 
and make it bigger so it covers the whole page and then you're going to select the title and change the color of this text box make sure that you are selecting the same color as in the back and then we're going to increase the size of this text box and position it in the middle of the screen and lastly to create the cover you simply need to duplicate page one and then move it to the end of your presentation deck and then if you want you can change this text to thanks or thank you make sure to position this text box to the middle and center of the page and finally to create this morph effect on this presentation deck we are going to add an animated transition which is called match and move so you're going to hover in between the first two pages and then you will see these two buttons appearing click on the one below that says add transition and from here you will find match and move click on this icon and then click on the button that says apply between all pages and that's it your animated presentation is ready let me go to present in full screen to show you this animated effect Here we see the cover of the presentation and pay attention because you will see that the background transforms into the highlight of step number one. So pay close attention, I'm going to move to page two. And then when I move to the other pages, you will see that this highlighting square moves to the following steps. And before we move to the last page, pay attention again because this highlighting square will transform into the background of the last page and here's one last detail that i want to show you and it is that when we are moving from the cover to the first page you will see some of the text on step two and step three but if you don't want to see it you can remove it on that slide so let me show you what i'm talking about pay attention to this area and this area you will see a little bit of this text in just a couple of frames so let me show you you see this text if you don't have a problem with that you can leave this presentation as it is but but if you don't want to see it, you can simply select these two text boxes on page two and delete this text. You can do the same on page three. You can delete this text box in here. And then when you go back again to the presentation mode, full screen, it looks something like this. When you go from the cover to the first page, you don't see the other text appearing for a couple of frames. And I personally like it this way, but of course you can choose the way that you prefer. You can see the other text text appearing for a couple of frames or you can leave it this way by the way i have been very very impressed with all the cool animation tricks and transitions you can create in your canva presentations i actually was able to create this and this other animation in canva So if you want to learn how to create these cool tricks, please let me know in the comments so I can create a tutorial for you. On the other hand, if that's not what you want to learn, also let me know in the comments. Please give me ideas on the next tutorial you want me to create. I'm always super happy to read your suggestions, so I'll see you there. Also, please let me know if you learned something new in this tutorial. I will submit this design to Canva to see if they approve it as a template. If they do, I will leave the link in the description, but this template will be available only for Canva Pro users. So if you have a Canva free account, I'm going to leave here a Canva Pro free trial so you can enjoy this template and all the premium media in Canva and all the pro features during 30 days. And I'm also going to leave in here a tutorial that I'm sure you are going to I think this is it for this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!